Norway, mostly known for its nature, fjords and mountains. I think there is no person who ever heard about Norway and doesn't know what Trolltunga, Sierak, Preikestulen and Geirangerfjuren are. But Norway has also many great museums and the one that I want to show you quickly today is placed in Lillehammer. I am taking you to biggest open-air museum in Norway, Maihaugen. Located very closely to Skyjam venue, which was used in Winter Olympics in 1994, is a great bonus point on your route if you are in this area. In summer, Maihaugen is open every day between 1st June until end of August. The ticket costs 215 korons for adult person. You can check the prices and opening hours in other months on the website maihaugen.no. Museum is very interesting. Imagine going back in time and traveling through few ages of society developing. The museum can be split in two sections, inside and outside. Outside part is open even after opening hours, but you cannot go inside the buildings, shops and old train which is here too, and it's very, very worth it. You will find here stave church from 13th century and other old buildings like farm, sacristy, school and many, many more. In all those things are people dressed in adequate clothes and performing actions from presented time. It's also a possibility to get to know how things were done then. We came here too late to see everything before closing, so learn on our mistakes. We saw only the inside exhibitions and outside of mentioned buildings. I would say you need at least 3 to 5 hours to see everything. Other interesting part here is reconstructed city street from early 1900. There is pharmacy, post and different type of shops. All of them inside look amazingly real and in some places you can buy things like cheese or bread. area you'll find also a train station and real train and carriage from around 1920. It is really unbelievable how things have changed in just 100 years. Inside you will find few very interesting exhibitions. The most amusing is the one called Impulses. It contains more than 1000 important objects from even 17th century. You will find here chests, old clocks, weapons, instruments, cutlery, clothes, toys, carriages, sleighs and many many more. You should see our faces when we come here. The amount of things here and the quality of them is outstanding. Maybe you heard yourself that all things were done with much more care and art. Here you will see exactly what that means. Besides things, there are also many interesting facts about Norway. For example, between 1814 and 1900, Norway population grew up 1.6 million people. That's just 90 years. I wonder how spies in the Hollywood movies would sneak here without making a sound.
Another interesting part is dentist office from end of 1800. Most of the things you will see here belong to Anders Sandvik, the founder of Mayhaugen. For example, the dentist chair here is one of the oldest in the country and it's from around 1850. In 30 years it will be 200 years old. Fun fact, did you know that when Andesh was taking his education in 1880, there were just 34 dentists in Norway? Another exhibition is about glaciers, where you can learn how thick and heavy were them, how they looked in the past and now, what are the names of those most known, etc. Very informative and interesting facts. Another great part is the exhibition called We Won the Land that shows the history of Norway and impact of world on Norway society, how things have changed during the ages, how technology changed life of people and how few events from world influenced the society. All that I mentioned is just the tip of the thousand of things that are waiting for you here. This place is definitely worth seeing. Don't miss it on your trip to Norway. And I really hope that you will enjoy it as much as we did. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next episode. Bye.